Hello everybody and welcome to the long awaited 56th episode of my Le Mans Odyssey. Um, I continue to uh, have the little problems I have so I'm not confident in my ability to use sound so I won't be doing that for another week or two I'd say. Um, I'm getting new parts in which would hopefully help but not the uh, final solution which was the motherboard. But anyway let's get on with the good news and uh, I've just started the month of February and uh, we are still in that incredible second place we play PSG who have been having a terrible season in a make or break match after gaining a big advantage over Lyon but Marseille have pulled one out on us so the title dream it's very much on but you know you just have to hope and pray for some miracles between now and the end of the season because I want this season to be the season when I can compete for the Champions League or the Europa League and I think it would be an insult if we got the uh, Europa League at this stage. We've got such a nice healthy lead. Uh, we'll take a look in great detail now. There you go. We're on 52 points um, ahead of Lyon. On, they have 51 but they played an extra game. So now Tien were victims to Lyon so that's why they've uh, lost some more points so we could pull out a very big gap over fourth place which would be huge. But Montpellier have been in great form. I'll just show you them how well they've been doing. Look at all these unbeaten results. Fantastic for them. So a uh, big pressure when we play them on the end of the month, but uh, you know, we'll just have to see how that goes. But anyway, as for ourselves, um, it's been absolutely fantastic. Look at this. The last time we've lost was against Marseille back on episode 54, and ever since then we've been absolutely unstoppable. Only two or three draws in between. So the fact that we're not quite competing for the title just shows how dominant Marseille are. But uh, fact where I, I'm not even too sure where I stopped so uh, it must have been about here the Lille match where we won 5-0 so after these uh, friendlies I'll get you the goal scorers now uh, we had a variety of goal scorers in these games which was great and uh, in four very important crunch games where we needed results we've got them starting off with Lens we took them on away and we got a lucky on goal and uh, we held on despite uh, being bombarded with Zhang Suessi hanging on in there he was a uh, he was uh, part of a bid, 8 million euros from Queen's Park Rangers. But I said, no, I'm not giving you him for any money at all. You, you can see how serious QPR are. They are seventh in the league, which is still incredible. But a few me weeks ago, they were third. So they meant serious business. And I'll say if they got Zhang, they would have been absolutely flying. So I'm very pleased that he's loyal to the club. But he's now the most expensive in terms of the wage bill. We still haven't recovered our finances which you can now see for yourselves and um, they're not great at all but we're trying to get there if we get a great result in the league and get Champions League I think the debts will be uh, a thing of the past uh, no see another very tight game it's incredible how lucky we've gotten but it was Anthony Darlad's show uh, we were dominant for the first half then we gave away a late goal and then we got a lucky penalty but it was well deserved and uh, Darlad struck it and that was probably one of the best nights of his career so I was so pleased for him. Then a disappointing 2-2 against Sanatian. I say that since uh, we were we were in the lead, gave it away with two goals, and then got a very pleasing equaliser from Harrison to make it two apiece. But then we came to Lyon. We were beaten by them at home, which was a very rare thing, but we continue our phenomenal run against them. Uh, an own goal from Vida, and then Fusiani Cisse officially ending his goal drought as he was the one who... Uh, was the catalyst for that own goal so he was man of the match in my opinion but again Zhang Suessi was absolutely sensational and now we've got more crunch games we play PSG which I'll tweet the results um, probably tomorrow for you if I can I'll uh, play Auxerre then Montpellier and then Marseille so a huge month and a half of football for this club and if we survive yet again with this 12 match unbeaten run in the league it could be very, very profitable this season. Um, it could be so. Uh, and the fact that I've got some other news to tell you, like the amount of uh, international duties, suspensions, and all sorts have kept a lot of players out. So uh, basically, I've got Ali Bamba back for the first time since the Africa Cup of Nations. I've got Kula Bali back. Masakni's still there, but he's due to come home. Um, Eddie Carlos has just recovered from injury. Yeah, my old goal is not quite fit, but I have to play him. And uh, you can see all these suspensions. Coppers has been fantastic this season. 
And you can see him here. He might not look it, but he has been very, very crucial. He's played a lot of games this season after uh, barely being needed. So a uh, great job for him. And I'm so pleased um, that he can be of use. Fusiani Cisse suspended. Darrow suspended. Fai has been suspended and injured. Uh, Therley has been suspended. Um, who else was on uh, international duty? Zhang Suisi is just back from a international like uh, duty. Omrani's back, so uh, we'll see the African Cup of Nations in detail now. Algeria were one of the early ones knocked out, I believe, so that probably uh, wrinkles uh, Omrani and his uh, colleagues. So we'll just see what's going on now. Uh, it's just reached the final stage, actually. Egypt versus Ghana. Tunisia were just beaten in the third place playoff. And... Uh, in the semis, uh, whereas the quarters, I should say, um, the Ivory Coast were knocked out. So a lot of players lost there. Um, so I've had plenty of suspensions. I could have yet more suspensions, uh, a few injuries, and of course, international duty absolutely decimated my squad. I'm amazed to have people left. So well done to my team for uh, fighting the power and uh, getting through yet more difficult games. Uh, unscathed but we still have to beat PSG it doesn't matter how bad they've been they are still PSG they still got some good players uh, Barini should be fit to play us today uh, but you can see how bad their form has been um, I'd like to think it was partially down to us but uh, they've had a severe drought of uh, losses and draws so hopefully we can add to it because they have Champions League to think about and that is probably their only chance of silverware so Barini's probably going to play. Oscar, I think he was injured in our match, and he's about to recover. Dumbi is suspended. Lucas is suspended. Uh, Douglas and Summers are suspended, and Fellaini is suspended. So I think we have the advantage. They still don't have a left back, so every chance of success is true. But probably the one man who has been there through the campaign is Quentin Bernard, though. I cannot underestimate how important he has been. He's only conceded 25 goals all season in 24 games. And that is much, much improved. You can see, even though we have a pretty bad goal difference, we've only conceded those 25 goals, which is one of the best in the league. Uh, and in terms of goals scored, it hasn't been a profitable season, but we are in, in and amongst the top five. And uh, we are one of the hardest teams to score against as well. So that is uh, very pleasing. In terms of the last five games, we're just behind Marseille there. Um, our home record is okay. It could be better. Um, we need a few more wins though but our away record is phenomenal look at that, 9 wins, 1 draw and 2 defeats on the road all season Marseille are probably jelly that they can't match our uh, prominence but what a performance so far this season, if it has to end this way, if we don't get 2nd place I will be bitterly disappointed but fair play to the guys so far we just need to hang on for another 14 games and we will be in the Champions League next season but I know it would actually make me cry if we got to compete for the title on the final day and uh, if we won it well, I'd go absolutely ballistic um, we'll just have to wait and see um, I'm doing my very best to try and get these games out for you but um, we'll just see how it goes I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, I'll carry on hopefully um, into the Marseille game and of course the uh, next episode is I'll hopefully have it out for the 8th of February which is this uh, game's one year anniversary. I've been playing it for a whole year uh, since the 6th of February, or the, yeah, the 8th of February, sorry, I'm getting mixed up. And that is a massive achievement. So hopefully you've enjoyed the year of content and uh, stay tuned for the one year anniversary special, which won't be live com unless I get all my equipment. But if it is, I'll try and get as close to the Marseille game as I can. But uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll talk again soon. Bye.